We saw it. Then we saw two hawks over there. Wait, wait. Female and male. We just okay. wrote it down. Look at the bird. There's a bird, a swallow. It came a from swallow the first came box. from. Yeah, it came out of the box. We're, we're going to call three. that South Three. It came out of South Three or South Four. It, the first box, and then it flew to the. By the first one, you mean the one closest to us. Yeah. yeah. So that's South Three. So it came out of South Three. And it came over to what we're calling so, South Two. Yeah. Okay. Can you zoom and it's on it's right on top of the. He is. He can. That's exciting. <laughs> Ask your question. Just it's, a it's really okay. Good point. It's a really good point. No, it was just I was saying like I feel like this would be harmful because okay. it's gonna bring in more, more human people. traffic. Yeah. Um, it and you know how humans litter. Yes. It probably won't bring in more than have come through. You know, over the years, the meadow actually grows really hard going to be high and it's going to be dense and so although this is a bike path and people come through and people walk we're hoping that you know the vegetation will keep them, them out of out of the natural area just because it's so dense and it's hard to walk through but, but also you had a thought that this was just an abandoned area before is that yeah. true or yeah was this yeah it was yeah it was pretty much abandoned yeah it was as I said, the uh, it was mugwort, you know, this high. Which are these? What are they? Mugwort, the, I can show you on the other They're right side. there, right? On the path? Not this? Uh, this stuff is mugwort. Oh, that oh, stuff. It's yeah. very tall. What do you call those again? Mugwort. Mugwort? Some people eat them. <laughs> Asian, Asian I see, people eat yeah, them. Yeah, I see them picking them in the park yeah. in the morning, especially yeah. in the morning. Huh. Yeah, they're edible. Um, Interesting. But, but they're not natural to a salt marsh. Well, they're that... not natural to New York. Uh, to New York, right. You no, know, I don't think they're natural to the East Coast. Uh -huh. um, okay. It's probably European uh, Artemisia. Uh -huh. um, but, yeah, so it was pretty much abandoned. And when we came in and ripped everything up, it's true that, you know, the pheasants and some of the birds and the rabbits hightailed in that direction. Um, but we're seeing, you know, them come back a little bit. So, but it gets a little denser. There's been rabbits here? Every, oh, yeah. yeah lots There's of rabbits. wild rabbits all over. But that question of how much should you restore and how much should you leave alone, I think probably people ask that a lot, right? That's a good well, we question. we tend to want to create a lot, as large of a restoration as possible because some tests have shown that, you know, you... They're more sustainable over the long term, the larger they are, because you don't have these edge effects. Edge effects where, you know, other things like the invasives tend to come in at the edges. And if you have a small area, you have a lot of edge. Um, and also, a larger um, restoration gives more space to animals to really um, provide a much better habitat because, you know, animals have territories mm. and if you don't give them enough room, they really aren't going to be interested in staying here or if it becomes too crowded, you know, so um, a large restoration is as much as you want. I mean, there's a lot of, you'd like as large a restoration as possible. Um, there are areas, in fact, there, there's going to be an amphitheater. 
a natural, you know, like an outdoor amphitheater constructed more past this restoration. So that will be a huge and After area. all, you work for the parks, right? I mean, you're not... Yeah. Yeah, so it's... It's planned. It's, 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 it's a mixed... Yeah, yeah it's a mixed-use park. Mm -hmm. This was planned for since 1990, I think. Um, but yeah, there are certain areas. It's a big park. Some areas are slated for to be restored <coughs> natural areas, and some areas are slated for ball fields, for the amphitheater, for, you know, children's parks, yeah. playgrounds. So yeah, what, I wanted to ask an obvious question, but yeah, we can walk down. Which was, um, when you say restored, you mean restored to, like, before people were here. Is that right? No, we no? can't restore it to before people were here. Okay. <laughs> um, because what, so what do you want to restore it to? It's altered so dramatically. What we want to restore it to, I mean, this area was probably a mud flat and actually... I don't think it was actually salt marsh. They uh -huh. really dug out. Got it. Um, but if we wanted to restore this to what it was, we'd have to dig down and we couldn't afford it. But we're restoring it to a natural, not more natural conditions in that it's, it's uh, natural plants. Uh -huh. um, I got it. Really, that's the main It's focus. what It's the vegetation that it's defines the it. Interesting. The vegetation that's... In the habitat. Uh -huh. with, you know, coastal system huh. as much as we can. And it's consistent with the conditions we've created. You know, it's pretty, we've created fairly dry conditions. Uh -huh. There's a few pockets of wet areas. But, um, huh. <laughs> so, yeah, it's interesting. But it's always interesting to think about how nature is created you know what I mean? mm -hmm. so yeah but and then when and when adolescents start thinking about that they think just leave it alone but well you, you actually know, have to create to well yeah. because everything's been because of the history of phil here uh -huh. only certain plants could grow right you know uh, it was just and invasives are everywhere in the earth um i think the other thing that's different about it a restoration here as opposed to one in the suburbs or, or something like that is oftentimes you're doing a restoration right next to a, a historic uh -huh. forest. Yeah, yeah. And then what happens in that case is you provide um, purchase for the birds uh -huh. and the birds will bring in and, and seeds and the wind huh. will blow in seeds. But we can't depend on that too much. Huh. We'll probably have some vol volunteers. We'll have some. Um, we can probably figure out what species they are. But um, huh. most of what we're, we've planted here would not come in naturally. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And we plant very densely as far as trees and shrubs go, because we want to close the canopy quickly uh -huh. and uh, keep out as many invasives as possible. Can you see what is just under the surface here? There's a lot of bricks, a lot of You see of these concrete. bricks? Um, and it grew right around those bricks. It's amazing. Particularly bad for plants because it's very basic. So this tree could do that, but other plants would not be able to do that. Is that the... Yeah, the conditions just, it's just really crappy soil because of all of the concrete. It makes it very basic. Uh -huh. yeah. And, um, yeah. But yeah. I mean, plants do grow here. It's just Even that none of them are, not none of them, most of them are, are not. Not native, uh-huh.